Hi, my name's Paul from Ebon Sky Studios. So today I'm going to be showcasing Sable. Now, Sable is the set of development tools we've designed here at Ebon Sky Studios, which allow us to create our audio games. Now, what makes Sable unique is not only can you use it to create every facet of an audio game, but it can all be done with absolutely no coding, scripting, or text files being needed whatsoever. So, this is the first in a set of videos to demonstrate just how easy it is to use Sable and what some of the things that Sable can do. So, today's video is going to focus on just creating a basic map and placing a few things on that map, just to show you how easy it is. So, without further ado, I'm going to load Sable. Now, when it loads, it will go through the loading screen so you hear the logo and the music kick in. And once we're at the main menu, I'll carry on the presentation. And, enter, Sable Engine Alpha 1.58. Sky Studios. Sable Pre Alpha by Evan Sky Studios. Main menu, please select. Okay, and here we are at the main menu. So, what we're going to do uh, to start is we're going to create a new project. Play game. So, let's just find Load the option. project. New project. Enter a project name edit. Type and text. What we need to do is give the project a name. So, let's just call it Sable Demo. Demo, enter. Uh, we need Escape, to then edit, give the text. Please enter a reference for the map. Uh, this is map map reference. So let's just call one. it map one. Map one. Enter. Please enter the map length you would like your map to add. Now we need to add. set the map size. So let's give it a length three, of zero, 30. 30. Enter. Please enter the uh, map width you would like. Give it a width of 30. 30. Enter. Please enter and the map height you would like. Because Sable supports a z-axis, we can also give it a height as well. So let's give it a height of 2. two. Enter. Please edit, select map text. type. Okay, the next thing we need to do is select the type of map we want to create. So I'm wanting to create an outdoors map. So outdoors map. Let's select that. Please select terrain type to fill map width. Okay. Press and escape to set as now default what we terrain. Need to do is set the type of terrain that we want the map to be filled with. So there's Asphalt, various options in dirt. here. Let's use first letter navigation to find grass. Grass. There we go. Music. Please select and background music for now the map. We need to choose a background Aya's music house. for the map. So what lies ahead? That'll do. Ambiences. Please select and then background the ambience for the map. It's just to select the type of ambience that will play Dungeon. in the background. Uh, so let's go for Broad chorus. Birds. That'll do. New project created. Generating new map. And there you go. It's generated that map we've uh, just created. So it should be now a 30 by 30 by 2 map. It's playing the background music and ambience as we asked it to. And if we walk around, you'll hear on the foot it's filled it with grass tiles as we asked. So obviously at the moment the map's just completely filled with grass tiles. So let's say we want to add some stuff to the map. We could, if we wanted, add uh, various objects. Objects. So let's bring up the objects Fleet menu. Barrel. Building creator. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into going to add a building so we're going to select the building creator please enter a name for the building edit so first text. we need to set the building's name let's just call it I the N N in in enter please enter the building's height edit one the next thing we text. can do is set the building's height so since the map's too high let's Two. make the building too high as well enter. please edit. select type floor text. type for building we need to select the type of floor for the asphalt building. Uh, carpet let's have a look let's select water one. wood there we go please select wall type for the and building then we need to select a type of wall, wall. so let's select stone. stone there we go music Please select uh, and then background finally, music for just the need map. To select some music for the end. So, house. What have we got here? In a dark in music. That'll do. Right, so the next thing we need to do is size the building, which we do using the cursor key. So let's just uh, enter building mode. Building mode activated. And with here one, we go. So now two, I can with four, you with can hear me placing with some seven, music with the cursor eight, keys. Length, to length size five, the here. length six, with seven, building size set. Press the return key to place a door. Okay, so let's building place wall. a door then. So we need to find a wall to place it on. Building wall. That'll do fine. Generating building. Building added to map. And there you go. It's added the building to the map that we've asked it to. So again, you heard it change the music to the new in music we've selected. Underfoot, there's the wooden floorboard. So if I head to the north, we'll find the stone wall. There we go. And because we created the building to be two floors, we can head upstairs if we want. And there we go, we're now upstairs, or we can head back downstairs. Okay, so let's find the exit to the inn to start with. Exit to the inn. There we go, and let's head back outside. So we're now outside, so you heard it change back to the outdoors music. And again, under the front of the grass. inn. Uh, so let's say we want to add something else to the map outside. 
and let's say we wanted to create maybe a path to the inn. So what we could do is bring up the terrains menu. Terrain uh, menu. And there's various asphalt. options here. Bones. Broken concrete. Uh, let's go asphalt. For asphalt. I selected that, and now I can lay some asphalt tiles. So that's me laying the asphalt tiles. There we go. So now I've laid those. I can walk up and down this new asphalt path if I want. I could name the path. Custom name. Enter uh, name. Enter edit. Type and this path should lead all the way to the uh, front door of the inn. Entrance to the inn. There we go. Now, if I come off of the path, uh, there should be the grass to the left. Leaving path to the inn. And then I can head back onto the path. Path to the inn. If I head south down the path, it should lead again to more grass. Leaving path to the inn. There we go. So, let's say we wanted to add something else to the map. So, let's say we wanted to create maybe a river at the end of the path. What we could do is, again, bring up our terrains menu. Terrain menu. Uh, we could select Please water this water. Um, now, rather than laying one tile at a time, I can adjust my brush size. Uh, let's brush do size set to three. So it's set to three. So, this will now lay three by three water tiles as I place them. So, let's place some water tiles to create brush this river. Brush size set to three. So, this is me just laying the different River. Brush size set to three. There we go. I've set the. I've placed the river. I can now walk north out of the river back onto the grass. There we go. And if I head left along the grass, I should hit the path again. Here we go. Path to the inn. And if I head south along the path, it should lead me into the river. Leaving path to the inn. There we go. Brush size now, set to one. What I could do is let's say we wanted to create a bridge to cross the river. I could again bring up our terrain menu. Terrain menu. Select wood Water. this time. Wood. And I could create a wooden bridge across the river. There we go. Now if I head south, I should be on the grass. And if I head north, I'm back on that wooden bridge. I could Custom name the bridge name, if I wanted. -E -R -R -D -D -E. Bridge. bridge enter, edit, if I head text. north along the bridge, it should lead me to the path. Path to the inn. There we go. Bridge. So, let's say we wanted to add a little bit more depth to the map. What I could do is I could add some panning sounds. So let's bring up the panning, panning sounds. Panning sounds. Um, Please select birds. Common raven calls, river one, uh, let's birds. Let's add some birds to the map. And we'll place them just north of the bridge here. Path to the inn. Uh, let's place them here. And you can now hear those birds playing that I've just placed. Now these are panable sounds, so as I get further away from the birds, that sound will get quieter and quieter. And as I got closer, it would get noisier and noisier. Entrance to the inn. And there we go, we're back at the inn. So, I think that's about where I'm going to leave this first video. As I did mention though, there are going to be more videos in this series. What we'll do in those extra videos is we'll continue to build on this map, so you'll see us add more stuff to it. So we'll add things like NPCs, uh, we'll add some objects, we'll show you how to create things like abilities, weapons, enemies, and then once all of that stuff's on there, we'll end the series with a playthrough of the map showing you how battles work, uh, equipping characters and that kind of stuff. So. I hope you've enjoyed this first video. If you do have any queries or questions, please drop us a message or you can leave us a comment. I've enjoyed making the recording for you. I hope you've all enjoyed listening to it too. The next video will be posted on our Facebook page, so keep an eye on that and you'll be able to see when the next video goes live. Again, just a huge thanks from the whole team here at Ebon Sky Studios for taking the time to listen to the recording.